Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing an overview of my new Neverfull MM in the Emprunt Noir. Okay, so there's a ton of reviews on the Neverfull period, and this is not gonna be a Neverfull, no, this is not gonna be a review, it's just an overview. Um, I was asked to show kind of closer up of some of it, and so I'm gonna do just that. There's literally so much about the Neverfull <laughs> everywhere, so I don't really want to go too in depth about it because, you know, it's saturated. But this one is just slightly different than the regular Neverfull, which I have the original one that I got back when it first came out. So mine is holding up really well. It's patinaed. It's it's beautiful. It's still perfect. Um, now I haven't used it in years because. <clears throat> literally I'm tired of going everywhere and seeing them I'm tired of seeing them everywhere so when we were in Vegas literally I saw them everywhere I saw them on the airplanes I saw them walking around like they were everywhere so I was kind of glad I didn't bring mine but something about the Empreinte one I have always loved um, as soon as it came out I, I wished I had gotten this versus getting my Monstery backpack in in the Empreinte just I don't know what it is I love tote bags and I just I don't know, I love leather bags. So yeah, I won in Vegas and I went and bought this with the money that I won and it was just really fun. Um, okay, so this is the same as the regular Neverfull to wear, you know, it's just a tote like this and it has the things on the side. Now I wear this one the same as I wore my original one to where I tuck in the sides like this, I cinch it in and then I close the thing over there. So I have kind of found that this one tends to hold it better. My um, monogram one, one side holds it really well and the other side has always, like ever since I got it, it's always kind of come undone quickly. Yeah, so it's kind of annoying. I don't know, maybe these are a little bit, maybe they're just, it's just made better, it's a leather bag. So yeah, enough said. Um, but yeah, this is how the look of how I carry it. I never leave it open. I don't know why. Um, even when we were flying home from Vegas, I had it cinched up with all my stuff in it. So I literally had like an iPad mini. I had my phone. I don't know. I had a lot of stuff just shoved in here. So this thing was pretty darn full and it went under the seat in front of me. So yeah, that happened also and it's perfect. But yeah, um, walking around these stayed cinched. I didn't clip the top, but I have been when I'm not using it, like, or I, not like when I'm not using it, but like when I'm working or whatever and it's sitting on my desk, I do cinch, not cinch, I clip the top so that it stays together so that hopefully I'll train it to stay closed rather than, you know, the sides wanting to open, but yeah, so. Um, then you've got the giant monograms on the front. I'm gonna cinch this just a little bit so you can see it a little better. It's got um, one right there and the one on each side. So there's three on the front and it is two pieces of leather like on the top. So one here and then you turn it around. They're both right side up. So you'll have three giant LVs straight in the middle. I think that's so pretty. Um, the sides do not line up. People have always been really weird about that. Like they want to have perfect flowers. And from my experience, that's just not a thing like I don't know, even back when quality was good, it just wasn't ever perfect. Typically, you will see it to be extremely perfect on fake ones. Like, it's just, yeah, no, it's just not. Um, I don't know if these are considered rivets over here, but whatever, the hardware over here, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it close, like good enough, but right there, um, it says Louis Vuitton on them. I think that's so nice. I love it when, you know, little pieces are detailed like that. I didn't look at this when I bought it and I didn't even realize it until I was looking at someone else's pictures of their never full. But it's kind of cool because you have the giant, you know, print on the front, but the bottom is the original small print. I I don't know. I don't know why I thought that was so cool, but I do. I think it's really cool that the bottom is different than like the rest of the bag. I don't know. Um when I was in the store, I think this is what I, 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 I'm pretty sure what we did. The first one that she had, um, I think the inside was dirty. Yeah, I think the inside was dirty. So she pulled out a fresh one and 
the imp imprinting was not deep. So I asked her for another one. So she brought out another one and it was this one and it was perfect. So I'm like, I kind of, you know, I showed my husband, I was like, what do you think of this one versus this one? Like, do you see anything wrong with them? Cause you know, you have to double check all your Louis Vuitton bags. And we both thought that this one was the best. So yeah, um, I double checked everything. Everything was good. Everything looked great. But yeah, definitely I say this every time I talk about Empreinte leather, make sure you check the deepness of the leather if you can go in the store or if you go through an essay, if they could send you pictures. Because some people don't care, but for me, I want it to last as long as I can for as much money as you're paying. And when you use these over time, like you can look at people's pictures that have had them for a really long time. And over time, a lot of them, the imprint will work its way out just because, you know, it's pushed onto the leather and from your stuffing in it, pushing, you know, pushing on the outside of the bag, it just, it eventually kind of fades. But when you have a really deep one, it's gonna last a lot longer. So yeah, I, I had to make sure that that's, that's how mine was. Now my favorite part is going to be the inside. I love how it's this like, navy blue and it's the microfiber stuff micro suede whatever you want to call it i don't know um, it's the soft interior and i i love it i love how pretty it is no i do not use an organizer with it i just throw my stuff in it like literally i just took all my stuff out and i had to lint roll it because it was dirty like i've been using it since i got it in vegas and it was freaking dirty so i had to lint roll it but it is just so pretty um, it does still have <laughs> the giant pocket inside that I love and on the pocket it says Louis Vuitton Paris. Mine is made in Spain. I didn't really care. I didn't even look when I bought it. I didn't look where it was made. I just bought it and then when I was on the plane and I was just looking at it, I was like, oh, it's made in Spain. That's kind of fun. Um, typically looking in the Neverfull, the date code is right here. But now they have the um, uh, microchips in them, so there's no more date code. So, like, if you get one, don't freak out when it's not there anymore. It's just simply because now they use the microchips instead of the date codes, so it's not going to be there. Um, the hardware, I don't know, it's just the same. It's just as beautiful as it always has been. Like, yeah, you've got your D-ring on the side, and inside I have connected my pouch that comes with it. Let me set this down for a second. Okay, so I did pull out this one. So I, I know I have the original Neverfull, um, but a friend of mine was able to get me this one because she has the Neverfull with, full with P-Bone interior. So she got me uh, this pouch from Louis Vuitton. Um, Cause yeah, if you already own the bag, you can order the parts, but if you don't, they won't let you do it anymore. So she did this for me. Um, okay, so I just want to show you the difference because I think that this is a really nice upgrade and I don't know if this is on the canvas never fools now um, or if it's just the empreinte, but yeah. So this is the, the one and they come, you know, like this. So you can use it like a wristlet like this. You know, you put it on your wrist, you know, whatever you do and it opens, you can put it on your bag, whatever. And it's, it's on the side like that. Okay. Also, it has inside this one, it has um, a pocket. So that's really nice. Okay, with that being said, set that over there. The new one, you can still clip it here if you wanna have it be a clutch, you know, whatever. But it's so much cooler because you can now clip it on the zipper. Like, I think that is so cool. So, I don't know why I put that over there. So the original zipper was like this, just with the LV on it, so it just looks, you know, normal. The new zipper has a hole, so you can put the clasp. This came in really handy in Vegas because I just put cash in here. I, you know, threw it right over my shoulder and I had just, you know, I was able to do clutch, throw it over my shoulder, go gambling, and it was good to go. It's also super light to carry around because I had been carrying my never, or not my never, I had been carrying my Speedy B25 and gambling with that and stuff, it just kind of gets in the way, and this was just so nice. So, okay, the inside now is just blank. There is no pocket. 
There is no anything. It's just the beautiful blue inside, but you do not have a pocket. I would say that's kind of, you know, that kind of sucks. I wish they hadn't have done that because the pocket is really nice to separate some stuff. Like, you know, to put cards in the pocket, put cash down or put lip gloss or whatever. But, uh, you know, I guess it's just, it is what it is, you know, whatever. But, and you have the um, large monogram on it. So it's still on the side like this, but you now have it able to attach to the zipper. I just think that's so cool. I really, really like it. I was, I was really happy when I saw that. So yeah, it was really fun to use. It's just so pretty. And also, let's see, I don't think, yep, there's nothing, I don't know. If it's imprinted anywhere, I don't know, but um, there's no date code in this. I know the other one, I don't know why I keep putting it over there. The original one does have it, like on the pocket, like this one says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France, on the pocket, and then there is a date code inside it, inside the actual pocket. There's one in there. The new one doesn't have it. I don't know if there's a chip in this also. I don't think there is, but I, to be honest, I have no idea there could be. Um, but yeah, now it's just, it's just a, a pocket thing. So when I've been using my Neverfull, I have been having it clipped to the D-ring. I also, on the D-ring, keep my earbuds case clipped on there. Got this super cute um, case for my earbuds. And I just clip it on there also. And then inside of it, I'm thinking I could start using it as a catch-all. Um, right now I use a rough and tumble one. I was thinking I could probably use this because it will hold just about the same. I mean, it's huge and it's very expandable. I feel like this will be easier to put stuff in um, easier than the canvas one just because it's so pliable but yeah um so i might do that yeah right now i just have i just keep cash in it not really sure why my wallet holds cash so i don't know but it's so beautiful i really really like it you can see like mine automatically wants to lean in because that's how i wear it all the time Ugh, so pretty um let's talk about the handles real quick okay I feel like people either love or hate the Neverfull straps. I personally have always liked them. Like I have always loved the Neverfull straps. Like I know they're thin, but they're super comfortable. Even when the bag is super, super full, it doesn't hurt. Like I've never found that it hurt. And I mean, I used my canvas one for many, many years after I got it and I never felt like it hurt me. It was so comfortable. And over time, when it got more patina, it got softer and even more comfortable. And it's just, you know, it's just great. And I feel the same about this one. I feel like the more that I've used it, like super quick too, within like days of using it, the straps got soft. Like they stopped just standing up and they started immediately like hanging down. You know, people have the Damier Ben never full and for years, like some people say that their straps just won't go down and they won't soften. This just being straight up, like the kind of leather that it is, it, it molds to you so quickly and it just becomes so soft. And just the same with the bag. Like it, I wouldn't say it was even stiff when I got it. It was just, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It had some structure and it still does. But when I wear it, it just molds to you. I don't know. Um, also, I had watched some reviews on it when it first came out. People were like, it's so heavy. If you're used to like a light bag, don't get it. It's heavy. I have to honestly disagree. I don't think this thing is heavy at all. And like I said, I walked through the airports um, with this thing full of stuff and I did not think it was heavy. Like, I was not like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this off my shoulder. Like, no, it was super comfortable. It's not heavy at all. I think as far as a leather bag goes, this is super comfortable. It's super light and it definitely, like you can pack it full and it's not gonna hurt your shoulder. At least that's been my experience. Um, I've definitely had heavy bags that once they're full, I'm like, oh, shit, this is like, I can't do it. This, it just hurts, you know, but I don't feel that way with this. I've always felt these straps just help distribute the weight so well. And just overall, I don't think it's heavy anyway. So I definitely, yeah. I would say if you are afraid, get it because you think it's gonna be heavy, get it because it's not heavy. Okay, that is it. That's just kind of an overview of it. I know I didn't include like any like sizing and stuff, but like I said, it's all on the website and 
all the Neverfulls are the same, you know, every MM is gonna be the same size. So, you know, yeah, you've probably already seen a million reviews. Um, but if you do have any questions or, co or comments about this one, just let me know down below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. You take my love for granted. Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah. No